Here we have three buttons located on the driver door. The first one is our solar shade. The second one's our night shade. And what these do are actually lower a shade to cover the windshield. Now, when you're using these, keep in mind that if you have the vehicle on or the key is in the ignition, it will not allow the blinds to go all the way down. So the vehicle must be off in order for these shades to go all the way down. And now we'll do the night shade and I'll demonstrate what it looks like when you have the key on. So from that beep there we know that the truck is on and I'm gonna try and keep going all the way down with the night shade. As you can see, I'm still holding down the button, but it has stopped there. And that is because the key is on the ignition. If I was to turn it off, pull the key back out, I can now lower the sunshade all the way down. To the right of that switch, we have the heated mirrors function. So in order to work your heated mirrors or you're in a snowy condition, you want to melt that ice off of there, go ahead and flip that switch up with your key on. And we'll see this light is now glowing, which means that the heaters are on. For the mirrors as well, we do have their position controls located right here. If you want to move the left mirror, you want to be on the switch right there. And then in the middle is off and to the right is for the right mirror. So we can go right here to the left so we can see this one. If I push the left button, it'll move the mirror to the left. If I push the right button, it'll move it to the right. If I go up, it'll go up. And if I press down, it'll go down. Here we have our brightness controls for whenever we have our lights on. You can control the brightness of your gauges here or how dim you'd like them. As you can see, I held it down. We can no longer see the lights on the switches. We'll leave that on bright. Here we have our windshield wiper control. So the higher, the higher we push this little switch up, the faster the wipers get. And if you want to trigger, trigger the spray function for the wipers, you're gonna press down right at the top of that switch there and they will spray. Let's go ahead and turn those back off. Here we have our battery boost button. What this does is it'll allow you to connect the coach batteries to the chassis batteries. This comes in handy when the chassis battery dies and you can't start the vehicle. So what you can do is you'll press and hold this down and then you could start the vehicle using the batteries in the back. Here we have an exhaust brake. This is really good for when you're going down hills or anything like that. You don't want to put too much stre uh, stress on your actual brakes. You can click this on and there's a little flap in the exhaust that will allow the motor to slow itself down in turn slowing you down. Here we have a far uh, our fog light switch. Just flip that on you'll get a message over here letting you know that you have your fog lights on. So there's three positions to this switch here. These are your headlight functions. Here we have off and the middle is just marking lights and the top means the headlights are on all the way. To trigger your high beams on your headlights, you're going, you're going to pull back on your turn signal stock. You see, we'll get the symbol right there telling us that the headlights are on the high beam mode. To turn it off, you just pull it again, and it will disappear. On the turn signal switch, you have these, this little switch here. This is for when you're driving 
to turn on your cruise control, you can leave it on on right there. And then to set cruise control, turn it on while you're driving, you're gonna set it right there. And as you can see, when you're stationary and you click that, the vehicle automatically goes into high idle. If you're going to be at, at any idle period, where you're stopped at a, at a hospital or anything like that, and you have to have the truck on, I always recommend you putting it into high idle. If you want to take it off of high idle, you just turn your cruise control off, and it'll turn back off. So anytime that you come to a stop, but you want to keep the vehicle running, you want to put that switch in the middle, we'll get the cruise control light on over here, and then you're going to want to press this switch here, this button, and it'll bump up the RPMs to 1,000. And that is how you want to leave it when you're going to be at idle at a stop. And it is the same process for when you're driving. If you're driving, you want to turn your cruise control on, you do it that exact same way. Over to my right, we have two switches, ceiling lights and scene lights. These control all the lights inside of the unit and these control the same scene lights that are controlled by the other switch on the exterior. So here we have our stereo. This stereo, let's see if I can give you guys a better view for that. So here you have your stereo. It is Bluetooth activated, so you can get Bluetooth, Sirius XM, regular radio. You can connect your phone to it. You can connect a USB stick that has music uploaded to it and you can play off of that as well. Um, another cool function about this radio is if you wanted to switch lanes, you can actually turn the right turn signal on and it'll show you that side of the vehicle. So there you can see our right side, our passenger side. And if I go to the, if I was turning left on the highway, you can check your blind spot using these cameras. Also, when you put the vehicle into reverse, you will get a clear picture of the rear of the vehicle. But let's say you want to keep your stereo on, but you want to keep the truck off. So right now, we have turned the key off. The stereo turned off because we turned the key off. If we wanted to power up this stereo without having the truck on, there's a switch down here for it. It says radio, house, and engine. If we flip it over to house, the stereo will now power up using the batteries that are, that are powering everything else in the back. So you don't have to have your engine running, consuming fuel in order to run your stereo. Here we have all of your regular climate control buttons, your fan speed, temperature. Here you have your AC button, your recycle air button, and of course, all of your outputs. Here we have your defrosting fans. Let me go ahead and turn the vehicle back on so you can see them. They are located both right there, right in front of the windshield. So this is good for when you have fog or condensation. You can turn it on to low. That is a switch position in the middle. Or you can turn it on to high. And that is the switch turned all the way to the top. There's a couple more features in, in the cab here. You do have two more USBs located right here, as well as over there next to the passenger seat. The dashboard actually turns into a desk just by pulling it, just like that. So you can go ahead and do some paperwork there on the road if you need to. 
and that is your cab.